everybody. Welcome to Muse TV. We are here with Chris and Gil, who did the Bite Size Holiday uh, little short film, Science Fair Santa. How is everything going so far? Going great. How about you? How's everything on your end? It's been good. It's been really good. Uh, getting ready for the holiday season and your short film really did bring that spirit. It starts getting me ready for this week. Um, tell us a little about how you came up with the story in the short film. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I think for Gil and I, we really wanted to address a couple of things. We wanted to look at obviously sort of the magic of the holiday season. And uh, I think magic and science go hand in hand in some ways where some people say, oh, that must be magic until the science actually proves that it's real. So we wanted to extend that all the way out. And obviously having this girl as the lead who's super strong in her beliefs and wants to show the entire world. And what better way to show the entire world your beliefs than at a science fair, the, yeah. the perfect middle school platform for beliefs. Exactly. So. And it seems so much fun. And Gil, you kind of did a little Hitchcock and uh, a yes. again, didn't you? <laughs> Michael, it's true. Michael, first of all, thank you for acknowledging this. Uh, it's a hundred percent true. Uh, yeah. I have uh, I have a cameo as a dad, as a dad who says what? Just like that. It was perfectly executed. I mean, I know that term is thrown around a lot, perfection, but uh, yeah, I am the dad. Uh, I, also, I also was going to say, uh, just to, uh, to continue to address um, what... Uh, the first thing you asked also, I think Chris and I just love an excuse for a character who's uh, rock solid in their beliefs to the point of being almost transcending any kind of criticism or uh and i think uh and part of this is maddie the the young woman's performance and, and i just think to be so just kind of like rock solid confident effortless reaffirming exactly what she believes not shaken having every bit of evidence to back it up uh is extremely fun for us especially when it's a kid in elementary school who i know at least for me when i behaved that way it was a shaky facade that could break at any moment just to kind of hide the extreme insecurity underneath. So I think that's part of it too. Any excuse to write that. Yeah. And Michael, since you brought it up, we, I should address the elephant in the room. The <laughs> Gil scene was originally a five page monologue, <laughs> oh but God. in the edit process, we looked at it and we're like, wow, he really communicated those entire five pages in that one word. You Why do what? we even need the rest of this? And that's you know just what? the master of subtext that he brought to the part. Yeah, Chris cut down my five-page scene to one word, Michael. Uh, I wasn't going to bring it up. This is not the place for me and Chris to do this. We have a counselor for that. Um, but uh, it's, it's true. The dad has a whole backstory of what the word what means to him and why he says it. <laughs> and hey, it, it would have been perfectly okay because we've had a lot weirder things happen here on Muse TV. <laughs> so it's perfectly fine especially with what happened yesterday uh so this is perfectly okay um but Whoa. where do you find these two kids because they're so good the interaction between them are it's so it's so good i, I loved it yeah well, it was chris ahead, just, i'm so sorry before you answer that michael uh, i'm gonna email you later i'm gonna hold you to explain what weird thing happened oh, i will explain as oh my god I hit record and we go off yeah, yeah. Where then will I tell you what that happened? That was that was too good not to ask about. <laughs> uh, please, Chris, proceed with your response. I yeah, I was gonna say so. Through the casting process, we saw a ton of kids local here in LA, um, and Maddie not only brought something really cool to the sides we had prepared, but even just in working with her in sort of an improv scenario, an improv not a super easy task for kids to do, and. Um, Gil and I have both had a lot of experience working with kids uh, in front of the camera and the way she was just able to own the part and totally got the tone of it and same with Samuel they both just kind of uh, uh, Gil and I think we're super highbrow with our scripts and sometimes we are sometimes we pull it off but when you have kids who walk in and are like I know what you guys are about I get what you're going for here yeah. and then execute it in their acting it just it's a brilliant thing and it works so well for us so yeah and how how was it because like 20th Digital has done this with Halloween, yeah. and now they're doing this with, with the holidays. How how awesome is it to have a studio, some a studio like 20th Digital, to be, give opportunity to get your directing chops and to really get your your product seen to people? Definitely, it's they're 
so supportive of Gil and I. Our relationship with them actually goes back a long time. We did a feature film with them uh, back in 2016 called Tenured, which Gil starred in. He has two hours worth of dialogue as opposed to the one word. Yeah, it's, and... it's several one words, but a lot of them together. <laughs> All put Over together. the course of two hours, Michael. Just want to be clear about uh, that. <laughs> which by the way is on Amazon Prime if people want to check it out. Check um, it out. Tenured. Tenured. And so we we've, we've been working with them a bunch and have developed a bunch of different things. This year we actually wrote a feature length horror film based on one of the horror shorts that ran during their bite size horror program. So uh, we've done a bunch of stuff with them. They have been super duper supportive to us. Super duper supportive to all the filmmakers who come through there and it really is a great great place to discover new talent. I mean, the amount of talent that's going through there, you see it in the shorts every year. It's fantastic. It's like its own, to become its own film festival ground to find new talent. So it's yeah. fabulous. Well, and that's what we found out with Halloween, with talking with some of the directors during the Halloween Bite Size event. A lot of them were, some, one person I was talking to was a college student who just came out and put in a treatment and got it. And it really gave them an opportunity to really cut their teeth in this industry and i think that's Absolutely. really cool with a lot of it with a lot of these opportunities that are starting to rise uh, and with your so are you working on something next is there something more coming besides the halloween treatment is there is that the main focus right now yeah no we we wrote we finished a script for uh for them called carved based on one of the short horror concepts um, yeah, we have, man, this is always so like, I feel like Chris and I have all these cool things going on and then we can't talk about some of them. And then I t tell people, I'm like, Hey, I have stuff going on. I just can't talk about them. They're like, okay, buddy, like get, you get lost, pal. You know what I mean? Um, Chris, and, and we don't want to make your I, job editing even harder. So we, well, we no, can't cut into them. Yeah. <laughs> I the same thing. I, I mean, we, we have the same thing here at Muse and it's, it's some of the things I could talk about and others. Well, you're just going to have to wait and find out. <laughs> You know what, yeah, here's, exactly. let me give you, I'll give you the cryptic stuff and then the stuff I can talk about. The cryptic stuff is that we're developing uh, what's going to be, for us, the biggest film we've made to date, a horror film, separate horror film from the from Carved with 20th Digital, um, which we're hoping to shoot uh, in the spring. And that's the one I can, I have to give cryptic details about. Uh, the ones that are less cryptic is we have a feature film uh, we're shopping around called Tuesdays with Satan about a young woman who uh, goes to Harvard, cheats on an exam, gets caught. She's facing expulsion. She makes a deal with Satan to save her academic future. Giving her soul seems disproportionate. So instead, they agree for an internship for one semester for no school credit. Uh, Satan turns out to be a lovable mentor and she manages his social media accounts. And we also have a, a pilot we're shopping called uh, Mid-Wolf Crisis, about a middle-aged man who is a werewolf, terrified of himself, doesn't want anyone to know, locks himself in the basement once a month when the full moon rises, uh, terrified of his own identity, when his daughter brings home a fiance who also is a werewolf, but wants the whole world to know, there's a huge rift between them. Uh, and it's basically all just about intergenerational differences when it comes to embracing your identity and living in fear. Uh, and then the dad has to embrace the werewolf within to stop the werewolf hunters who come for the fiance, that kind of a deal. Oh, I could talk about that stuff, right, Chris? Yes. Yeah, uh, okay. I think that's okay. Sweet. I think we're I think we're safe doing that. And also with the werewolf thing too, it's like embrace your inner COVID. I think both Gil and I have extremely long werewolfian hair going that's specifically right. because of the times we're living in. So there's, sure. it's always pre it's always present. Yeah, I have the same thing, except I'm combing it to make it look like if it's needed. It, <laughs> it looks good. It looks Michael, great. So looks hard. good. So hard, especially as I'm getting to 45 and I'm like, dude, they're all getting gray hair. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, to get back at track, um, how can people find you and follow you? Saturday could make sure that when these films come out and you have new projects coming out, uh, they can see when, when they're about to drop. Go for it, Gil. Uh, well, my Twitter, I think, is at Gil Zabarski, I think. Uh, I'm let's, tweeting lately. I have, I have lots of great tweets planned. I have them written down in my notebook uh, and they'll be released very soon. I can't talk about some of those tweets either. Very cryptic. Uh, and then I, I, th I think on Instagram, I'm the same. How does it work? I have no posts. But then I was like, someone was like, hey, you should probably start posting idiot. I was like, okay. So I'm going to start posting uh, all my hilarious videos. 
I think it's just my name, Gil, G-I-L, one L, not two. <laughs> excuse you, Michael, excuse yourself. Uh, Zabarsky, Z-A-B as in boy, A-R-S-K-Y. Twitter. Uh, you can stalk my home address. I mean, don't, but you know, that's another way to find me technically. Uh, I am C mode and it's S E A underscore M O D E because I want to make it as complicated as possible for people to find me. Uh, but if you do find me, you've earned yourself something. It's, it's a lot more work you've put in to get there, but once you get there, it's, it's really worth it. Hey, you so, know what, Michael? And that's Twitter just, and Instagram. Someone just texted me. It's uh, at Gil Zabarsky is my Twitter handle. <laughs> I think for Instagram, it's the same. There might be like a dash in there. Just find me, people. I'll make you laugh. You know, what do you want? That's all I, that's all I can promise. We're social media professionals. Uh, same here. Yes. Don't get it. Don't know how to use it, but somehow it works. <laughs> Michael, can I find you on social media? Actually, you can. Uh, at Muse TV is where you can find me. So. Oh. Perfect. And you can find my personal account through there. Uh, so, Whoa. But, I love this. Uh, I loved your short, Science Fair Santa. You Thank can you. See it on Facebook right now. I that's where I saw it, so you can definitely see it on there. And uh, we look forward to talking with you soon for your new projects. Thank you. Yeah, right. the short the short is on all of ABC's uh, social media platforms, sponsored by MS. Yeah. Right. Thanks so much, Michael. No Michael, thank you. This is awesome. And we look forward to talking with you soon. Appreciate Great. it. Thanks. Thanks.